Hi, this is Piotr Walczyszyn, Adobe Creative Cloud Evangelist. Uh, so this is a second episode from a series where I cover uh, Edge Reflow tool. Uh, so in this episode, we'll see how you can uh, define a layout of your responsive web design. Uh, so let's get quickly started with Reflow itself. So when you launch it for the first time, uh, it will create you an empty project. And that's where we want to start, actually. And here, we uh, first thing I want to do, I want to set in the grid options, I want to uh, add some outer gutters for my design. Okay, now I want to add an image file that will be um, uh, our uh, logo of my site. And maybe before I do that, I'll just remind you what's uh, what we were aiming for in terms of the design. So this is the, the layout that we want to uh, prepare. Uh, so we'll have this icon here, we'll have this content area for uh, for our hero, and we'll have some uh, as tutorial step boxes and some uh, a side note with uh, author and uh, bio and, and a picture and stuff like this, of course, it's me. Okay, and uh, now let's leave that. Uh, let's go back to Reflow and let's start with adding this uh, icon there. So add here an image um, element and uh, Reflow icon, I have that in my assets folder. And all these assets, tutorial, uh, actually a workbook, you can download from that link and go through it yourself as well. Okay, so now I want to place it somewhere in the upper right corner, something like 20 pixels from top and, and from left. So I can just place it anywhere uh, I want, something like this. And it's not exactly at this point where I want it to be, but I can, of course, fix it here from the margin panel here, 20 pixels. I can change from top and instead of the default uh, uh, left margin to be in percent, I can change it to be also in pixels. So 20 pixels. And there we go. We have our icon where we want it. Now I want to add a text field where we'll um, put the title of the page. So I add a text uh, element. Uh, select some area from uh, starting from the second column up to the end of the 11th column. There we go. And put some text getting started with reflow. All right, we got that. Now, the uh, next thing is I want to add a text, uh, sorry, not text, a box, which essentially translates into a diff element uh, and uh, design or define the area for our hero. So put it here. Uh, if I didn't make it really, you know, the size I wanted, of course, I can go in here and fix a couple of uh, L, uh, properties. I don't want the width to be fixed size. I want the width to be uh, uh, auto sized and uh, well, for the ease of development so I can visually, you know, drop something inside of that container. I want to set some minimum uh, height to be whatever right now. Okay, there we go. So uh, let's zoom out 150 is okay, because the hero that I want to add, so the image file uh, that I can find here in my hero PNG, he, there we go, uh, I can put it somewhere basically close to the middle. Uh, but well, I can fix that to be exactly in the middle. The way to do it, I keep my hero selected inside of that container, parent container. I go to the advanced options here and there is this button that uh, essentially it uh, sets the left and right uh, margins to auto and uh, uh, disables float and sets it to none. So it sets my uh, hero to be where I want it to be. Also, I want to change maybe the margins to be zero in this case. And I want to add instead of margins, I want to add some padding. So like 20 pixels of padding is cool enough. So it will give me some slack from the edges of the parent container. Okay, cool. Now let's go down and let's define an area for my uh, for the steps of my tutorial. So this will be a container again. And maybe let's select in an area of uh, basically eight columns. So leave right uh, four columns on the right. Uh, 
so it, I have enough space over there for my uh, for the um, for my description bio and so on. Okay, so let's uh, select this area, and inside that area, now I can, of course, I can you know position it. Now it's 28 pixels from uh, the previous element, which is this hero container. So of course. I can now maybe visually using, uh, of course, uh, up and arrow keys, position it to be at 30 pixels. That should be good enough. Now let's define another div element that should span around four, um, four mm, columns of my grid. And let's just stick it to the left. There we go. Well, I can improve that. So to the left zero and just you should see it snaps at the end of the fourth column. There we go. And maybe fix it to be at like 10 pixels from uh, the upper uh, one. Now, um, inside of that element, I can add a text uh, field for the title. So just place it like here and give it some like title layout or yeah, I think it is officially defining default layout. There we go. Uh, now uh, let's, uh, let's select the text box and let's uh, change it. So first of all, it's 100% white of the parent container. And of course, let's fix it where it's positioned. So the left margin should be as well zero. Uh, I can set also to the minimum height to be none. So it actually adjusts to, the, uh, to its content. There we go. And we have this text element that will be also nicely uh, uh, sort of scaling to the size of its parent container. Now I want to drop in another image, uh, which is actually thumb one here. And just put it somewhere. Oh, there we go. And of course, maybe fix it to be about 20 pixels from or maybe 15. It's all up to you what you feel looks good. And then we add another text element that will be placed uh, inside of here. And this is for our uh, learn for a, for a description of this tutorial step. So learn how to uh, define the uh, default layout of your design. Okay, something like that. Now, as you have seen, I could define this layout and so on. Now, if what I want to do, I want to copy that box because I want to take this box. I don't want to replicate that uh, for other steps and I don't want to do it you know, from scratch. So what I can do, I can use a duplicate uh, function, which is here and it has a command D or control D shortcut. And now if I use it, you can see I have a new box like this, which I can place uh, wherever I want it. Okay, something like this should be good enough. And let's uh, further on copy and paste. There we go. And one more time. Here we go. All right, so you can see I use this copy and paste technique. Of course, I should now go in here and uh, replace the, 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 the path to my image. So we can go in here and select thumb two, open and repeat that, of course, for other steps as well. Okay, so uh, you get the point. This is how you define the layout of your design. And in the next step, what we'll do, we'll actually style that uh, um, this layout uh, with uh, with nice fonts, with some colors, with some backgrounds, with some um, shadows, and so on. So stay tuned for a third episode on my uh, Reflow intro. Thank you very much, and bye.